Hello world, PDR coming at you here with an 07. Uh, it's a Colorado, but it's not, it's a Canyon. And it's the four door, really nice truck. Um, some severe damage. We are out here in nature, so please excuse the background noise. I do have the microphone on, which I just dropped. Now I'm gonna replace. Let's try to put it on right by me there. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay and I won't have to talk too loud, but um, you can see, let's analyze this dent a little bit. It's a large and in charge dent. Now I've removed this and there's a double wall there. I know that it's wide open from underneath, but I am gonna try some old school stuff. I have been, I buffed off all the scuff and I've been just banging on this brow. If you can hear that tension, that high pitch tension, I've been banging on that brow. And I thought I'd just grab the strong arm and put it on there and see what I can get out of this because I know that I'm gonna have to pull and hammer at the same time. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for this really large dent. The non-conventional type of uh, paintless dent repair. And now that I'm looking right into this brow, I can see it is really tense right here and all the way up around here. Oops, sorry. And uh, as I'm kind of pulling on it, I'm releasing that tension right there. So I know that we're not gonna keep you guys in for the whole thing. It's a really big dent, but hey, it's a, it's a nice car for a nice guy and we wanna do a good job. Um, I'm gonna try some glue pulls along this edge maybe. I might even just get underneath it and try to manhandle some of that dent out. But it's a lot of this brow down here that I have to break. And see that kind of popped it back in. It's wanting to do this oil can thing. Let's try it down here. Let's see if it'll do what I want it to do down here. Now I know that this suction cup is a real strong, oh gosh, it's a real strong hold. But I'm gonna just try to, no, I can't, not without, you guys can hear that tension. So what I'm gonna do is do a lot of this, hold this out while I'm breaking in this crown, this bottom eyebrow. Do the same thing up top, kind of hold on this and give it the taps right where I see it's the most. Maybe I have to move my board around a little bit. Um, we are out here in nature getting rained on. So, um, hey, I will say this though. I sure appreciate everybody clicking on this video. I really do. If you guys would hit the subscribe button, make sure you're subscribed, hit the little bell for notifications. You'll be notified every time we make more content. Um, we just do this to share with the community and have fun. We're not trying to teach anybody it is um, been told to me that some of my videos are pretty informative let's give it a good yank no it's just not wanting to move and I can see why now that I'm looking down inside of here this whole thing was crushed all the way up to about here shattered this piece and everything so I think what I'm gonna have to do guys is get underneath it with some tools uh, get it nice and warm move the strong arm oh do you see that some strange stuff happening here. Move the strong arm over, get the heat gun on it, like this, and uh, basically just get to work here. So um, after I get set up and ready to get all wet laying on the ground, we will come back and show you what we got in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back. We've uh, straightened a lot of that dent out. I'm coming in through the wheel well area, which if you notice, this whole thing was kind of smashed in the collision. So um, it gives me a wide open area to work. And I'm just right up here underneath this brow. But uh, 
it's very tight. I don't have my heat gun on it. Uh, just a little update on the heat gun. That battery that somebody made a comment, you better have about 10 spare batteries. They are right. That battery lasts about six minutes. So that's kind of a sad thing. We'll have to figure out a butane powered ah heat gun. I just made a little line, went through here, but I've also got some pushies that I'm not gonna really clean up. I'm gonna tap on it a little bit, but see, I'm right in the toughest spot up here, guys, and it's really got a lot of tension. And metal to metal with Bertha. Now I'm gonna come up underneath the uh, get a grip and just kind of baby out some of that area. I thought I'd bring you guys in for some of the finish work. Uh, now I will let you guys know this dent is a wholesale dent for a retail customer. So it's not necessarily retail. This isn't me doing my best work. This is what we would call a band-aid. This is uh, saving a really nice guy from having to go to a body shop. And I think he just told me that he was quoted $2,500 for this. So um, we're definitely doing what we can to stop that from happening and have him get his truck back into semi-presentable looking condition. Um, this is what he wanted on his 11 year old truck rather than spending the 2500 that they wanted and getting a new sticker new this new that and then repaint on everything so i don't know how long this video is yet but i do know that um for the band-aid situation and for what we're charging and what we did um we're pretty close to being done when this thing goes back up together and it's all tightened in it's going to seal it up this was an inch and a half gap all the way through so um we did we did what we wanted to do and i'm going to still buff this little line a little bit more it looks like it needs it even down here but that's uh that's just kind of the extra thing so that's what it's going to end up being bam um yeah and i sure do appreciate everybody sticking with us through this one i will tell you guys that uh being out in the elements being in the rain <laughs> makes it a little bit more difficult but i still love what i do this is uh this is my passion um you know this this dent right here is if I could choose what I wanted to do every day, this would not be it. Um, it would be the little tiny dings on a Mercedes door. But uh, this thing, I think, I think we did pretty good for what we said we were going to do and what we did, and stayed fairly dry. I mean, I'm kind of soaked, but uh, you guys stayed dry. And other than that, um, we'll just kind of end this one out. I'll just buff the rest of this off camera, and I'll say the thing. Um, this has been PDR, and I'm out. Peace.